you're watching News 8 Now, I'm Megan Torgerson. And I'm Erin O'Valley. Bear hunting season begins today, and this could be the last season without bait. Question 1 on the November 4th ballot reads, do you want to ban the use of bait, dogs, or traps in bear hunting, except to protect property, public safety, or for research? Maine is the only state which allows the three methods. A similar ban was rejected by voters back in 2003 by an almost 6% margin. Well, it looks like groups looking to open a charter school in Maine next fall must turn applications to the state by today. Letters of, the, letters of intent to the Maine Charter School Commission were due in June, but the application deadline is at 5 o'clock today. Currently, there are five charter schools throughout the state and more than 400 students attend them. Well, three people sent to the hospital after a crash in the Arusta County town of Monticello. State police say two men were driving in a dune buggy down when they were hit by a woman attempting to turn onto the northbound lane. Both men were not wearing seatbelts and were ejected from the car. All three people were taken to the Holton Regional Hospital. State police are asking anyone who witnessed the crash to give them a call. Friends and family packed a Rochester, New Hampshire church to remember American journalist James Foley. Hundreds celebrated the life of the 40-year-old Rochester native last night. He was executed by ISIS militants last week after being held captive for two years. The message last night, Foley's legacy will be shedding light on atrocities around the world. A funeral is planned for October on what would be his 41st birthday. Well, thanks for tuning in to this News 8 Now update. I'm Erin O'Valley. I'm Megan Torgerson. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a good day.